So this is page 90, question two, this car one. So they want us to perform a transformation geometry, a translation of this car from P over to P1. So look, they give you a little picture there on the road sign as well. So now I have the car drawn already here. I have P found and P1, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is label all the points. I'm going to label all the points, okay? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I'm going to say H and I then as well for my two centers. So we bring over these points parallel to the line P, P1, okay? So because P and P1 was just drawn straight across with our T square, we bring the same over here. So I'm going to bring across A first. We get the distance from P to P1 on our compass. And using the point there now at A, swing it, that now is point A. Okay, so point B is up here. Bring across B, point to the compass on B. That's B. So C is here, and D then can be back a bit further. That's D. E is on the same line as B, but it's just going back further as well. So that's E. F is also the same. F. G. Yeah, so I'm going to join up this part to the carousel first, then I can just worry about the wheels. So it goes P to A, so it goes P1 to A. B over to B. B to C. C to D, down to E, okay. now all I have to do is bring over my center points, so the distance is kept the same, so H, so that now is H, this is I, and the size of the circles is not going to change in the translation, so we can get set 10 there again on our compasses for our circles. And that's the question then completed with the car translated over. So a nice little nice little question to show translations.